We've got this beautiful Corvette C8, and today we're talking about why GM moved the engine to the back. The Corvette is one of the most well-known American cars in history. Almost anyone can identify the sleek lines, the headlights, and the badging. Starting with the 2020 model year, the Corvette went from being a front-engine vehicle to a mid-engine vehicle. So what? Who cares where the engine goes? You should care where the engine goes. And here's why. Reason one, weight distribution. On the new Corvette C8, 40% of the weight is in the front and 60% of the weight is in the back. And number two, polar moment of inertia. That's right, a fancy word that makes me sound smart. Polar moment of inertia simply means how difficult is it to turn something around an axis. At least that's what the guy said who did the research for this video. To show you a real life example of this, we're gonna take a trip to my wife's favorite store, Target. Please don't tell my wife. We're now here at Target and we're gonna need two things to show you what polar moment of inertia really means. Number one, a shopping cart. And number two, two cases of bottled water. Let's get to it. First, let's simulate what it's like if the engine isn't in the front of the car. To do this, we're gonna take your two cases of bottled water and push it to the front of the car. Then, just push it forward and try to turn left or right. It's really hard to get all that weight to turn around. Now, let's simulate what it would be like if the engine was in the back of the car. We're gonna take those two cases of bottled water and push it to the very back of the car. Now, do the same thing and try to turn left or right. It's a lot easier to turn than when the bottles were in the front of the car. Now, that's a real life explanation about why it's easier for the engine to be in the back of the car. Next time you're at a grocery store, at Target, anything like that, feel free to grab some water and try it out for yourself. The mid-engine Corvette is a game changer. The science behind it is really cool, but nothing beats the cool aesthetics. Plus, listen to this really cool startup. 